Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am a SharePoint developer and this is my first video on SharePoint development framework. In this video, we will be seeing how to set up a SharePoint development framework environment and the why factor of the bits and pieces that we are going to use in setting up this development environment. Let's get started. Before we jump into setting up SharePoint Framework Development Environment, let's get an overview of what is SharePoint Framework. SPFX is a page and a web part or extension model that provides full client-side support. It is a model in which SharePoint customizations can be built on any JavaScript framework like AngularJS, KnockoutJS or ReactJS. To set up the SPFX environment, we have to install few required components and these components which form a tool chain is based on common open source client development tools. Hence it is free to use. Just browse it and download it to use. The first among the tools that has to be installed is Node.js and the current supported LTS version is v8.x and 10.x series we have to download node.js from this url let me show you from the browser if you browse node.js.org you will be able to see the latest versions available which is the 12 point series we are going to develop SharePoint Framework and the supported LTS version for SharePoint Framework are 10 point series and 8 point series. So we have to browse for the 10 point series. When you navigate to downloads and scroll down, you will be able to see an option of previous releases. Click that and from here you will be able to download the 10.x and 8.x versions. So we will go with 10.x. And from here, you can download the MSI version, which will automatically install the Node.js. And along with Node.js, we will be able to install NPM packages as well. Now we got the Node.js installed. Next, we have to install our code editor. And for code editor, we are going to use this hyperlink and install the latest version from the Visual Studio code. In order for us to develop a code, we need a code editor. And the freely available editors are uh, Visual Studio code. We have Atom. We have many others as well. But this particular piece of software is being built by the GitHub community and hence the frequent updates are available for this Visual Studio Code software and it will be really helpful and it is recommended for SharePoint framework development. Next in the line is the Yeoman and Gulp. We are going to install Yeoman and Gulp using the command prompt and as I said before while we installed Node.js npm package is also installed and using npm extension here from the command line prompt we will be use installing yeoman and gulp last is the yeoman sharepoint generator we will be installing it using this command line now these are the tool chain that we have to install in our environment in order to set up a sharepoint framework development environment now we know the bits and pieces that these are the tools that we have to install but do we know why we are installing this you will understand the technology better when you ask why we are using it what's the need of it and then try to find answer to your own question hence we have installed the tool package but why are we doing this what is the use of each and every tool that we have installed. Let's find out. Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. 
it is a cross-platform environment for hosting and serving JavaScript code. SPFX supports Node.js, LTS v8 and v10 series and LTS is long-term support. NPM is a package manager for Node.js. Similar to NuGet package manager that we have in Visual Studio, the same is the NPM package manager for our SharePoint development. Yeoman is a scaffolding tool for modern web apps. It has a plugin named Yeoman SharePoint Generator to work with SPFX. It does the important job of downloading and configuring the required toolchain components for the required client-side project. It also creates the necessary project structure for the project based on the input we provide. SPFX uses Gulp as its task runner. It is a JavaScript task runner that helps in automating common tasks. And these common tasks may be like compiling, packaging, starting a test process, etc. Like in SPFX, we will be seeing build, bundle, serve, which helps in packaging and publishing the SPFX projects. In my machine, I have set up a SharePoint development environment already and now I will be showing you the version of it. I'm opening a command prompt. In my machine, the node version is 10. NPM version is 6.10, which is the package that is installed along with Node.js and you and your version is 3.1. Yes. In this video, we have seen setting up a SharePoint framework environment. We have seen why we are installing each and every tools present in the tool chain and what is the purpose of it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Much love, keep learning.